السلام علیکم فورتھ ایئر مارننگ اینڈ ایوننگ ان اور ارلیئر ون اینڈ ٹو لیکچر وی ہیو کورڈ اور ٹاپک اکارڈنگ ٹو دی کورس پلان فارماس بائی فارماسوٹکس جینیرک اکیویلنٹ اکیویلنٹ بائیو اویلیبلٹی بائیو اکیویلنٹ ریکمینڈ یو to use all two pharmaceuticals and the other one is the applied um, pharmaco uh, applied by pharmaceuticals by lium charger earlier one and two lectures was from Alton part 4 biopharmaceutics principle of the drug delivery introduction to biopharmaceutics we describe you what is biopharmaceutics and its background explain you the concept of bioavailability concept of biopharmaceutics okay i start today lecture according to the course plan first it is necessary to know what is pharmacokinetics pharmacokinetics how the human body act on the drug this is pharmacokinetics pharmacokinetics is the quantitative study and characteristics of the time course of drug absorption distribution metabolism and excretion in short we call it ADM and it is determined by measuring a plasma profile pharmacokinetic property of particular drug is important to determine the route of administration dose onset of action peak action time duration of time and the frequency of this is all about pharmacokinetics this is generally the phrase used for pharmacokinetics how the human body act on the drug whereas in contrast pharmacodynamics what is pharmacodynamics Pharmacodynamics is the study of the biochemical and physiological effect of the drug on the body and the relationship between the drug concentration at the site of action and the resulting effect or we can say what the drug does to the body. Now, so what the drug does to the body. This is pharmacodynamics. Pharmacokinetics can be used in the clinical setting to enhance the safe and effective therapeutic management of individual patient and is termed as clinical pharmacokinetics. Okay. pharmacokinetics we are discussing 
pharmacokinetic. Blue charger and it will describe the pharmacokinetic after the drug is released from it to the spine, the drug is absorbed into the surrounding tissue, the body or both. The distribution through through a thorough and elimination of the drug in the body varies for each patient, but can be characterized using mathematical model and statistics. Pharmacokinetic designs of the kinetic of the drug absorption, distribution, elimination, elimination, excretion, and metabolism. The description of the drug distribution and elimination is often termed the drug disposition. Characterization of drug disposition is an important prerequisite for determination or modification of dosing regimen for individual and the group of patient. Okay, the study of the pharmacokinetic involved both the experimental and theoretical approaches. The experimental aspect of the pharmacokinetic involved the development of biologic sampling tech analytical method for the measurement of the drug and metabolite and the procedure that facilitate data collection and manipulation. The theoretical aspect of pharmacokinetics involves the development of the pharmacokinetic model that predicts the drug disposition after drug administration. The application of the statistic is an integral part of pharmacokinetic study. The statistical methods are used for the pharmacokinetic parameter estimation and data interpretation ultimately for the purpose of designing and predicting optimal dosing regimen for individual or a group of patients. The statistical methods are applied to Pharmacokinetic model to determine the data, error, and structural model variation. Mathematics and the computer techniques form the theoretical basis of many pharmacokinetic models. Classical pharmacokinetic is a study of the theoretical model focusing mostly on the model development and parameterization. A student, it is necessary to know about clinical pharmacokinetic for a better, effective uh, therapeutic regimen of a patient uh, who are on chronic illness or uh, having some therapeutic index medicine or there may be uh, some kidney related uh, uh, infection or diseases. Their toxicities are higher after taking a long or chronic treatment of any disease. So, what is clinical pharmacokinetic? During the drug development process, large number of patients are tested to determine optimum dosing regimen which are then recommended by the manufacturer to produce the desired pharmacological response in the majority of the anticipated patient population. As you know, as you know, um, in the drug development, first when a drug is developed, it has to pass from different stages. The researcher developed, uh, try this medicine on animal model, then some healthy patient, then uh, some large population, and then 
def uh, define a criteria, a standard, do's, quantity, and estimated adverse effect, side effect. After calculating all the things, intra and inter-individual variation, which is um, the common, uh, which is the factor we can be neglect. Can be result in either a subtherapeutic, subtherapeutic, it's not producing its uh, desired effect, or toxic response. Toxic response, drug concentration above, above the minimum toxic concentration which may be required adjustment to the dosing regimen. Clinical pharmacokinetic is the application of the pharmacokinetic method to drug therapy. Clinical pharmacokinetic involves a multidisciplinary approach to individual optimized dosing strategies based on the patient disease state and patient specific condition. Okay, as you can see in figure 1.2, this is the onset of the time, x-axis time, and y-axis plasma level. When a drug is administered, it is increases concentration and reaches to maximum concentration, which is called CMAX. Any of the drugs have some uh, desired concentration in the body to produce a pharmacological effect for which it is taken or uh, in any disease. There must be some intensity level where it produces pharmacological effect. This is determined the duration, how long it produces effect. Here is the Tmax, at the Tmax, when the maximum concentration at, the, at some time, this is called Tmax. This is the total duration in which any of the drug produces from clinical effect. This is the concentration, effective concentration, or you can see the intensity. We, we call it the minimum effective concentration. But every drug has some um, limit to minimum toxic drug we can give a medicine in the concentration beyond this minimum toxic concentration okay so now we can see the pharmacokinetics is also applied to therapeutic drug monitoring is am kehte tda therapeutic drug monitoring for very important drugs such as those with a narrow therapeutic range in order to optimize efficacy and to pre prevent any adverse toxicity. For this drug, it is necessary to monitor the patient either by monitoring the plasma, drug concentration like in case of theophylline or Monitoring a specific pharmacodynamic endpoint such as prothrombin clotting time. For example, in the case of warfarin, warfarin is anti coagulant. Okay, so we determine the pharmacodynamic endpoint by its prothrombin clotting time. 
Pharmacokinetic and drug analysis services necessary for the safe drug monitoring are generally provided by clinical pharmacokinetic services. CPKS. Some drugs frequently monitored are the aminoglycoside and anticonvulsant. Um, such for such kind of drug, it is necessary when a patient is taken such kind of medicine uh, for a very long period. So we have to monitor it. Therapeutic in uh, concentration in plasma, in blood. Okay. Other drugs closely monitored are those used in cancer therapy in order to minimize side effects. Okay, what is pharmacodynamic? Just to tell you, what drug does it do? The body does it. Pharmacodynamic refers to the relationship between the drug concentration and the site of action. And pharmaco pharmacological response, including biochemical and physiological effects that influence the interaction of drug with the receptor. The interaction of the drug molecule with the receptor caused the initiation of a sequence of molecular events result in a pharmacological or toxic response. Pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic models are constructed to relate the plasma drug level to drug concentration in the site of action and establish the intensity and time course of the drug. Pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetic dynamic model are discussed more fully in, in later classes. Usually we monitor the therapeutic drug index in blood, plasma, or serum. How we determine it? Measurement of the drug concentration in the blood, serum, and plasma is the most direct approach to assessing the pharmacokinetics of the drug in the body. Whole blood contains cellular elements, including red blood cell, white blood cell, platelets, and various other proteins such as albumin globulin. In general, serum and plasma is most commonly used for drug measurement. To obtain serum, whole blood is allowed to clot and the serum is collected from supernatant after centrifugation. Plasma is obtained from the supernatant of Centrifuge whole blood to which an anticoagulant uh, such as heparin has been added. Therefore, the protein content of the serum and plasma is not the same. Plasma perfuses all the tissue of the body, including the cellular element in the blood. Assuming that the drug in the plasma is in dynamic equilibrium with the tissue, then change in the drug concentration in plasma will reflect the change in the tissue and concentration.